Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me and welcome to a 7 days to die console news update brought to you by the Fun Pimps. This was released several hours ago. I just saw it not too long ago myself. I read through it. So we're going to go ahead and give it to you because you've been asking me for a while now. Have you heard anything on what's up with console? Are we going to get our updates? What's going on? And I said, I don't know, but now I know. So let's go ahead and get through this. All right. Fun Pimps are saying, many are speculating as to the future of 7 Days to Die on consoles, and the Fun Pimps wanted to be as transparent as possible, so here's the reality of the situation. That doesn't bode well right there. Here's the reality of the situation. All right. After a long and tedious legal process and a closed auction, the Fun Pimps have reacquired full console publishing rights on the current and all future versions of 7 Days to Die on PS4 and the Xbox One. That's great news. That's amazing. It's now back under their roof, guys. We know there is still a steady and healthy 7 Days console community, and as we hear from them on our social media channels all the time, I bet you do. And the game has, still has nearly 10,000 concurrent users playing the game on weekends. Not bad, I guess, you know, for an alpha game, for an early access game. As far as updates, the console has not gotten a meaningful update since July 2017, which was content and features from the alpha 15 pc version the fun pimps are a pc game developer and publisher but we do not have the resources or expertise to do ports and updates to the console so we licensed the console publishing rights to telltale games who hired from iron galaxy who have done the ports with minimal the fun pimp assistance so guys if you didn't know telltale games folded they ran out of money they weren't making the sales they needed so they took everything that they owned and they sold it, including the rights to 7 Days to Die console. And that just destroyed 7 Days to Die console at Alpha 15. It put it, it put a, a kibosh on the whole thing. We all had a great thing going. A full Alpha 16 port was in the works. That is until Telltale's insolvency broke the cadence of builds, hurt our sales, reputation, and created this unfortunate situation. Instead of investing in a new update, the Fun Pimps spent a very large sum of money regaining the rights back in an auction in addition to ongoing legal and auditing fees. So I don't know if you guys know anything about business, but no matter, and Spider-Man is the perfect example, you don't sell something, you don't sell intellectual property, you don't sell rights to intellectual property and expect to get it back for the same amount of money that you sold it for. Like you're going to ask for a lot more than what you sold it for. And so you better have deeper pockets than you had when you sold it. And chances are that's not going to be the case. But maybe it, it maybe it would be if Fun Pimps was a triple A studio, but they're not, guys. They are an indie studio, so they didn't have a lot of money to begin with, but they finally got their rights back and it's under the same roof now. So they're just sucking it up and they're keeping on trucking. Now that we are the console publisher as an operational business out of, and out of obligation to our investors and our hardworking team who need to provide for their families too, we have to evaluate the expense and risk of porting any future versions of the game to consoles relative to the income it could generate. For those of you who don't know, that's called diminishing return. Like you could put out $100, you only get $50 back. You're not making money, you're losing money. And it's called throwing good money after bad. They're not going to be selling enough new copies on console to make up for the amount of money it's going to take to put it on console right now because it's not a fully released game. Full console ports cost into the millions of dollars, not to mention the restrictions the platform holders have on not breaking saved games, which would be inevitable given our current framework and the technical challenges associated with porting a resource-intensive game like 7 Days to consoles. It's not a small game. It's not a tiny game. By any stretch of the imagination it's not massive like arc but it's not small it would cost a lot not to mention with sony and microsoft no matter how small any update has to go through a rigorous testing and submission process and i've seen this time and time again with other publishers that are there and, and game creators that, are, that say the exact same thing conan exiles is a perfect example of a game that says this time and time again why or arc too you know why is why is Xbox and PlayStation, why are they later than PC? Why does PC get it before us? Because PC is so much easier to to, to, uh, to put up the updates. Because you put a Steam update up, all you got to do is load it in. But you got to test it out. And Sony and Microsoft, they refuse. If, it, if it's not going to, if they did not meet their testing standards, they will not ship it. Which is why you see so many patches on the Steam updates. After, after an update, you see a patch, after patch, after patch. Because they, that's where they're having to fix it. 
that's where the, you know, so we're actually getting delayed anyway to get things right they're just shipping it early on steam if that makes sense as you can see this is not an easy problem to solve we are exploring all options that would eventually deliver a new version of seven days to consoles but this would be likely to happen after the pc version had gone gold and could end up being an entirely new product or on the next console now i don't know what going gold means is it a million copies is it like is it like a record is you sell a million copies so they'd have to sell a million copies on pc after full release before they would feel like they could afford to put it on console as a full release i've said this before and as and i'll say we'll, we'll talk about that here in a minute but and let me just go ahead and get through this the rest of this please understand telltale going under has put the console version of seven days in this situation the fun pimps are just trying to look out for the future of our company and the game we care about the fun pimps will keep you updated as more information becomes available or if things change we thank you all for your continued support and ruinick is the person that put this out so i can't blame them for wanting to not like drain their coffers and go down like telltale games did they're, they're they're trying to be smart about this, but that's my opinion because I'm on PC, so I'm I, I'm I'm a little biased because we are getting the newer updates. We are playing the, the most recent version of the game. I am I am biased. There's no doubt about it. But I want to know what you guys think about this whole situation. Um, I'm hap I'm personally proud of them for getting for taking that extra money out of their pockets and getting the console rights. They didn't have to do that. Like they could have waited and finished the game. And then they could have found out where the rights were and then they could have tried to buy them back. But it's smarter for them to buy them back now because once the game is finished, then those console rights would have gone through the roof because then they then it's a finished game. And then anybody who owns those rights would have had a just a, a fat bankroll in their pocket just waiting to happen. So then they would have been, oh, yeah, well, you know what? It was going to be this, but now it's 20 million dollars. Or whatever. I don't know what the number is. By no means take that number at face value because I have no idea what it is. But I really want to know what you guys think. Are you happy that the Fun Pimps finally got their rights back? I, I personally am, but I want to know what you think. Or do you think they should have just let it go? You think they should just finish the game and call it a day and, and start up with the, with the next thing that they want to do? Uh, we are Alpha 18. We have been doing this for how many years now? A ton. You know, we're talking about, what, six years now six seven years almost almost seven years that this thing has been in early access so you know it's one of those things where how long do you stretch out the early access under the banner of we need to we want to get it right when you can go into full release and call it a full release game and then do constant updates after that and do 1.01 .01 or 1.2 or 1.3 or 1.4 and I completely understand the creative side of things with this isn't working, we're going to try that. Or that's not working, we're going to try this. The community wants this change, so let's do that. And that breaks this, and this has to be fixed because of that. Completely understand where they're coming from, even though I don't develop games, I don't make games, I just play them. But I see and hear this all the time from other game developers, and so I'm very, very well aware of the situation that they're in. And it is a shame that they can't give you guys the console updates that you deserve because you did purchase the game, but it's not their fault. It is Telltale Games' fault. But at least now, the Fun Pimps have their own IP back under their own roof so they can do with as they please to make things right in the future for the console players that own the game already. So guys, I want to know your opinion. What do you think that these, that these guys should do? Do you think that the Fun Pimps should cap it at Alpha 18, polish things up, maybe do one more Alpha, and then release it as a finished game? I know a lot of you prefer the earlier versions and that that's understandable i get it so hopefully maybe the earlier versions are going to be available during a full release do, you, do they say they need to get to gold in pc before they can export it to console what do you think do you think they should just finish it or should they keep tweaking should they keep changing should they keep adding and keep optimizing the game until they feel like they've actually got it right and almost everyone is happy with the game which no one is ever happy with the game and any content creator will tell you you can't please all the people all the time. You're lucky if you please a partial a partial amount of people part of the time. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this update, this news update. Let me know in the comment section what you really think, all your thoughts. I want to know everything you think about Seven Days to Die as it is right now and as the news is right now. We're going to give you updates as it comes along. I'm going to go ahead and continue on with these updates because it's kind of an important game to me considering this was the very first game that I ever put on my channel. So I have this very deep nostalgia 
for seven days to die and so even though i don't play it very often i i just it's kind of like you know it's like one of those old childhood toys that you had back you know years ago and you just kind of keep it on a shelf and you and you take it down every now and again and you play with it it's kind of how i feel about seven days to die I really like the game i actually like where they're going with the game there are some things obviously there's always some things that we don't like or we don't agree with but you know what that's just life so anyway, guys, like I said, tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. I hope this video helped you out. I hope it gave you some, some, um, some closure. If it gave you closure, I hope it gave you some hope. If you need some hope, and uh, or you know what, if you feel like you need to just uh, hit that off switch, I understand that too. Anyway, guys. I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did like it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.